Hello. In this video, I would like to share with you the flow of storm water and grey water from my house to the nearby river. Enjoy. Grey water is defined as gently used waste water that comes from sources such as the bathroom, kitchen and laundry, and countries like Malaysia consider both kitchen and bathroom wastewater as grey water. The composition of grey water is varied and depends on the lifestyle, fixtures and climatic conditions. It may also contain traces of food, grease, hair, dirt or particular household cleaning products. Storm water is water that comes from precipitation, it either soaks into exposed soil or remains on top of impervious surfaces, like pavement or rooftops. Storm water will eventually evaporate off of a level surface, but most often it flows as runoff to another location. This runoff is incredibly good at picking up whatever it comes into contact with as it travels downward to the lowest elevation. Dirt, nutrients, trash, storm water does not discriminate. By some twist of fate, the nutrients that it picks up as it travels actually cause significant damage to the surrounding ecosystem. The wastewater from the sink flow through the pipe by gravity force and exit into the outside drain. Bath water flow out into the drain while toilet water was flushed into the septic tank. Grey water from the sink and the bathroom will flow into the surge tank that acts as water pressure neutralizer. Some of the grey water were let to flow from the tank to avoid it from being flooded during monsoon season. Some of the waters were absorbed by the soil and vegetation while others infiltrate the ground and flow as groundwater. Wastewater from the toilet flow into the individual septic tank to be stored and treated. The septic tank only provides partial treatment of the sewage that flows into it and needs to be desludged on a regular basis to ensure that it functions efficiently. For desludging, Inda Water will be called to send a tanker that will pump out the sewage from the septic tank to be treated at their facilities. Rain water that fall into the roof, will flow through the pipes by the power of gravity and then, enter the drain. Storm water flow through the drain into the surge tank, and will eventually infiltrate the ground and become groundwater. The current grey water and storm water treatment system at my house is only applicable for primary treatment and has low efficiency. Toxic substances and harmful germ in the wastewater also can damage the soil, groundwater and even human health. To counter these problems, the grey water and the storm water from the house have to be collected and pumped to a wastewater treatment plant that have necessary equipment to treat the water before being released to waterways. The sewer system of the house also needs improvement. The individual septic tank has odors problem and need to be periodically cleaned. For alternative, vacuum sewage system can be applied. Sewage from the house flows by gravity into a tank from which it is pulled out by vacuum pumps located at a central vacuum station and then flows into a collection tank. From the vacuum collection tank the sewage is pumped to a treatment plant. The advantage of this system is it has no odor, leakage free and flood proof. Sludge sedimentation also does not take place so the sewer tank does not have to be periodically cleaned for desludging. 